Ah, yes, the new anime ad, which I guess everybody and their mother has been getting, even myself, because I, I guess it's either that I watch anime clips or I saw the new episode of Hell of a Boss, and I, I guess, I don't know, I like the new episode, Luna was in it, which apparently means that this ad is now free reign for being tied into that, I guess. I do like the memes that came out of the Stolas throw. Oh. Try me, bitch. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another video for the day. We're going back into our slash just neckbeard things, and uh, before anything, I happen to have just seen the Vin Vinci's r slash trashy video, and I actually saw the shout out, and gotta say, you made my day, dude, so I know you're watching this video. Woo! Yeah, baby! That's what I've been waiting for! That's what it's all about! Woo! So if you guys want to be absolutely awesome, uh, check out Vinzi's videos. I'll link his channel down below because I suck at editing software, but uh, his stuff looked pretty good. Definitely worth the while. Uh, but yeah, uh, be sure to hit his videos, hit my videos, and let's get into these. Plus also, I talked to we both love the idea of doing a collab. So like, maybe I would love for it to happen in the future. I will legit schedule off of work for this. Nurse who set off fire alarm to see colleague's breath bounce as she ran down the corridor is facing end of his career yet. Yeah, I'm sorry, how many brain cells took the day off where you thought pulling the fire alarm and calling the EMTs all just because you want to see the babblers do the boing boing was a good idea? This just goes to show reaffirmation on my whole thing about the neckbeard being a personality, not the whole appearance thing. The appearance doesn't exactly help the case, but it's more so what's on the inside. It's like the cringy Oreo cookie of life. SA Custom Game Mode reveals glaring Overwatch moderation problem. Blizzard has removed the listing for an offensive mode, but it's still available to play through a unique code. When you enter it, it forces one player to play as Cassidy against a team of strictly female Overwatch heroes. In the top left of the screen, it instructs you to flash to knock down your victims, which refers to Cassidy's old Overwatch 1 flashbang ability, and then says to teabag to F, which is written in spaces seemingly to get around a word filter. As you crouch, text appears on the top of the screen that says, yeah, I'm not saying that. Enemy heroes are then marked as pregnant, and eventually a Torbjorn bot is spawned to simulate a child. Uh... What? Whoever plays that game mode, you legit need to be prescribed some Kentucky blue grass to grab. Same thing for the people that made the mode. Y'all need to get outside and get some air, too. A 24-year-old, alt-right, Caucasian male, 133 IQ, 7.74-inch pecker, still looking for an anarcho-capitalist girlfriend, a must be under 5'6", and at least somewhat mentally stable. Why? Because someone gotta be in this one, which is definitely not you, willing to settle for a minarchist right libertarian, if above 8 out of 10 in appearance, preferably of Atlanta Mediterranean descent, because I seldom date outside my anthropological subrace. Hit me up, bees. Uh, congratulations, dude. I needed another example of something that makes me think back to the good old phrase of you can put sprinkles on a turd and it's still a turd. You can use all the big words you want, that don't mean you got big brain. That's just another wonderful example of that, too. Hello, Philly. My name is Jay, or a Joker. Uh, no, really, it's Troy. I'm seeking my Harley Quinn. Well, this is my dating profile, just keep reading. I forgot what true love is. Women and guys both want something special, but uh, most look for love in the wrong places. What means more to you, a person with money or something? someone with a heart of pure gold. I'm just the villain of the story, seeking true love. We all keep looking in the wrong places for love. Rather, your rich or poor love is within the air. I just hate spending holidays by myself. I want the joy of spending it with someone. If you receive this, I gave you this because I think you are compatible with me and probably more beautiful than any princess I ever met. My personality is well consists of hardworking and outgoing. My hobbies include, but not limited to, anime, watching movies, Comic-Con, cosplays, and traveling, as well as being a gamer. You can say I'm a bit of a nerd. My age, 37. A religion, Christian. I go to the Epic Church of Center City. Uh, my 
number is this? Text me. Find out more about me. Let our adventure start together. The win you text to tell me about yourself. When I get back to the residence I'm at from work, I will text back. I hope to hear from you soon. The substance is none. Are you tired of hurting relationships? You want a guy to treat you right? Contact the number listed above. I have old-fashioned views treating how women are supposed to be treated. Signed by Joker. Are you my Harley? Yeah, nod. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. That's how that sounded in my head. You know, I think the weirdest part about being given this is that that person knows where you are. This is a lot more creepy than somebody just sending you an anonymous message. A randomly written, like, typed out printed letter and everything is even weirder because of that whole I know where you are thing. Ohio will soon be selling an alcoholic version of Mountain Dew. Hard Mountain Dew comes in a variety of flavors, including original Baja Blast, Black Cherry, and Watermelon. O-H-I-O, -O, our number one most requested state from drinkers. You asked for it, now get hard. Mountain Dew in Ohio. Okay, I'm gonna keep it a buck. Um, my friend actually got me a case of this stuff, and... It's good. He found out that they were selling it in Virginia. He asked me, hey, Tommy, do you want, to, you want me to get you a case? I thought, sure, yeah, they're like 15, 17 bucks for like a case of, what, 12? And they're not bad, actually. The cherry is nice. I, I'm down to the case of the lime for the lime and lemon kind of flavor. I haven't gotten to Baja Blast yet, but so far, it's pretty decent. I will say this, though. Uh, just a little bit of a pro tip. Do not drink it like you would with regular Mountain Dew, because that alcohol will sneak up on you. Just remember, this still does have alcohol in it, so you will get a little swasty if you have about four of those things. But yeah, bottom line, not bad. I'm actually waiting for them to hit Maryland. Okay, you know what? I'm just... This is, what the heck? This is, what happens in the convention? center stays in the convention center, although this probably would be within proximity of the convention center if it wasn't a regular Tuesday. I will never forgive God for letting these people out of their home. Look, with all the people saying for these guys to touch grass, they did that and went outside. You just never specified they were allowed to wear anything and then this is what happens. Today I learned that when my lady sees a lady, she will know that she is a lady. Yeah, this was automatically generated from a but, and you know what? This either has me absolutely fearing the robotic apocalypse or not having any sort of fear for it whatsoever. There is no in-between for this. A megalium is my dumb for us, but the rules can easily be reversed when I need to get somewhere quickly, five miles or less. Meganium can run up to 20 miles per hour while I ride her. My favorite season is spring. Yeah, that is what her people a sexualness is for anything that related. Summer is good too, but not as good as spring. My last Megani ride for winter is usually early October. Some of y'all dum dums really saw Markiplier smash her past and decided to make a freaking religion around it. The fact that I, I've seen this, and you know what, this honestly didn't surprise me. The only part that I ever thought was like uh, caught me off guard was the fact it wasn't a Vaporeon thing. The uh, internet arguments are one. Uh, hey dude, while you're at it, how about you show the other one that says real world interactions. You are expertly checking the heft and balance of decorative replicas of cartoon swords. So just stop. I, I swear, I'm surprised beyond my mind that this has not been posted up at any convention I've been to. Magfest, Katsukon, Otakon, never seen the sign for a single second. And uh, that legitimately, like, guys, why why do you not have this sign? I definitely love booths like this that have these swords set up and everything just because I like looking at them. And I legitimately almost got a Captain America shield when I was, uh, let's see, last convention was Otakon. Yeah, I almost got that or the Captain Carter shield. These replicas look really cool, but they are not weighted for anything so please don't try to treat them like they are. Oh, there are places you could donate your sperm to be used later. You don't know where that sperm is going and who will use it to raise what possibly nefarious being comes from it. But is there a place you can donate sperm by doing the dang thing and after choosing the female incubator that you deem worthy? Dude, 
Why? You need to get help and stop playing those sci-fi games with the baby incubation little tank that you have on your chest. Will you play her heels alone with me? Expect the worst, because she is getting that uh, one million percent. You are even going to be shunned by the anime fans. Like, don't do this. Not sure why there are so many people that think they are funny or cool when they do this, but very much it's not cool. Uh, I think if the terms of our prenup will say, if your BMI gets above 26 while you are not pregnant, uh, I'm allowed to have a mistress. Uh, yes, uh, Scrooge McDumdum, what's your BMI also? Since you're spouting all that type of nonsense, you might as well have it come back at you. Female butt obsession is a gateway to homosexuality. It's so... What are you saying? It's a, it's gay to like booty? Ah, yes, will you look at that? The Cheeto dust guard for when you want to be rooting around in a good old bag of the cheese puffs. But at least now, you have standards. Oh, let me be the first to say that Ashoka is wrapped in properly and uh, it's driving me nuts. Uh, yeah, these were some of the lovely responses in regard to that decorative sword post y'all guys saw earlier. Seems at this point in time, any bait works for fishing if the fish is stupid enough. Okay, uh, help me level up my weeb skills. What is wrong with it? Ugh, yeah, I wouldn't expect a weeb to know such things. Just those educated in Yohonto. If you wish to know more, you know, I can refer you to some books to purchase so you can learn about traditional Japanese swords. No, dude, if you're willing to uh, say that this isn't up to par for quality, why don't you explain it then right in there instead of saying go look over here if you want to know. No, if you're willing to say something, you better be willing to explain your statement. Plus, way to go make yourself seem even more stupid trying to make yourself look smart by saying Nihonto, which is literally just a word for Japanese swords. You give them any flashbacks to the Studio Trigger panel that they had at Otakon and where people ask the people from Studio Trigger questions in Japanese. There's a difference between weeb and weeaboo, and you very much qualify as the latter, or basically a blatant example of the type of person Filthy Frank made fun of in his weeaboo video. But with that, that is going to have to be it with the video. If you guys would like to be absolutely amazing, show your support, and see more videos like this one in the near future, be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment down below to start up the wholesome internet discussions, and if you have not already, subscribe to the channel and turn on them notifications. I'll be sure to see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching, and bye-bye.